That's a good find though. That could be a lot of the problem. That's probably why it's smoking so much. It's injecting diesel at the wrong moment on each cylinder. Oh Lord, please let this be the solution. Some of these were already loose. That that can't be good. All right, I got the plate off. You can see the gear meshing with the main flywheel gear, main engine gear. So I'm gonna take that middle one off first. I've seen where you don't have to take the three around that wheel off. But uh, I'm going to try the big one in the middle first, and then these two. There's one here and one really hard to get to on the other side. All right, I just remembered that there were timing marks on this side of the engine as well, on the other side of the engine where it meets the transmission. And it looks like it matches with the other marks we see. So I see a 20... Uh, yeah, there's a, what looks to be a 20 up here. And it looks to, to match up with the other side. Alright, I'm checking on the timing. And I see moisture back here. This is at the engine to transmission area. And there should not be water droplets in there. That can't be good. So I'm trying to find out if I'm truly at top dead center on number one. And I don't know. Uh, I just rotated the engine to see if I'm really at top dead center. So this wire rises and tells me that the number one piston is up. And I have timing marks on the wheel lining up with this arrow. But to me, in one orientation, the piston should be up and I should be on my timing marks. And then the next time the piston comes up, I shouldn't be on timing marks because that's just the next stroke of the four strokes. So top dead center is the piston coming up for the compression stroke. And then you have an explosion, unless, does a diesel engine explode every time it comes up? I can't see how. Maybe it does, kind of like a two-stroke engine. Okay, I need to make another injection here. <laughs> Get it? Injection of diesel? Yeah. So I should have paused right there and thought a little bit longer. Um, some of my ideas were correct, but overall, I was not... I was not on point, I was not on time with my thoughts. Um, so the I needed to see the valves or feel some pressure to know that I was at top dead center right there uh, for the compression stroke and I did not have that confirmation. I was just kind of thinking well there's a timing mark or what appears to be a mark on the injection pump here 
So I must be close to on time and I must be at top dead center for compression. That was my first fault, I think. Then I read an article, there are some modern diesel engines that operate like a two-stroke engine. Um, so, but they have uh, turbochargers or superchargers. So just an extra little tidbit there. So keep watching. Thank you. Well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and take off the injection pump like I was planning to do. Well, I may not have to take it off all the way. I'm thinking I can just loosen these three bolts right here. And move, move that wheel. Move its sprocket separately from the engine flywheel. That was easier than I thought it would be. But you know what? This thing looks like it's been taken off before and boogered up. Which sort of solidifies my idea that this thing is off time. This is awkward. I have to get to the other one like this. Back there. Yay. All right, I got them both off. Now I need to get this thing out. And I'm pretty sure the shaft fits on a taper. So I may need to put the nut back on and tap it with a hammer. I'm hoping I can get it off enough. Uh, and then, let's see, what would I do? If I get this off, I'll need to get this wheel loose enough I guess and turn it without it turning the main engine flywheel yeah sorry sorry it's not even that complicated if I tap this out then I just need to rotate the shaft until my mark lines up right here and then put it all back in because this is already where it needs to be but this isn't All right, 17 milli to get this line off, which comes right here, right there. And then this line, they're too stiff, I can't move it back at all, but tapping it with the hammer did pop it loose. All right, the manual that I found from the hard knocks of life said there were no shortcuts in this job. So I couldn't push it enough this way. These stiff lines that lead to the injectors are just too strong. So I have to take them off. You need a 14 millimeter to hold back up on these. And a 17 right here. And uh, it's going to be a little bit weird for some of them. Like this, this 14 I had to put way back there and barely get a enough strength on it to, to break it loose but thankfully they're not super super tight they're tight but they're not corroded on there I guess like like water fittings might be from a 1967 house or something you know what I'm saying and this thing has some build up oh yeah while I was in here I found this big bolt almost all the way out about to rub on the flywheel. I couldn't believe that. I tightened it in partially, but I need to get in there and tighten it all the way. I'm not even sure what it does, but it looks major. It's huge. Slimy, yet satisfying. All right, so I can't quite do what I was hoping to do. I got it free. And guess what? There's a keyway on here that lines up with the gear so somehow I need to figure out how to get this gear to turn separate from the engines gear so I need to turn it 
uh, clockwise from this direction so that my mark in here comes down to meet with this straight line marker. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. I guess I'll take these three bolts off, but I'm not sure what that's going to do. I don't think it's going to do anything, honestly. Oh, there is some movement. Taking those three bolts off will loosen this centerpiece from the outer part of the gear. And maybe those slots will give me enough movement to get it on. Okay, that's what I'll do then. Alright, I got somewhere with it. Uh, this is not exactly where I want it to be. I think it's closer to 20. I'm pretty sure that's a 2-0 right there. Um, but this little line in here is right at that flat top marker. See that? Right there. And that's closer than it was. Before, when this line lined up, the timing marks were way over there, like about right here. So what I had to do was loosen those three bolts. I took two off and left one on. And I made a mark with my screwdriver and a permanent marker. That's where it used to be. This was lined up with that. And I used a screwdriver and I just tapped it so that this rotated clockwise without this or the engine moving and that got me where I needed to be so by hitting this plate this connector plate here it turned the shaft and turned this without moving this and I'm, I'm pretty close I'm closer than I was probably still two degrees off I'll see if I can tap on it and maybe get a little closer to 10 instead of to 20 but I'm getting excited. Now I'm gonna put it all back together and see what happens. All right, I'm losing daylight, but I think I got it all back together. I need to tighten this up. And I lost the nut for this somehow. But I have all of these lines got all of these lines on and uh, this plate on and oh I need to put the belt on and tighten the alternator so I'm going to hurry and try to do that and crank it up and see what happens I'm going to take this section of air duct off so that I can put my hand over it to smother the engine just in case it runs away when it starts if it starts I found them they were under here ha, from last time Alright, I'm, I'm cracking the lines open. The boys are here with me. We just put the freshly charged battery on. But I'm also jumping it with the truck just to make sure. I'm going to crank it a little while to bleed all the air out. And we're praying that this thing will run better than ever. Alright, so I'm not sure why the stud for the kill lever and for the throttle just spin freely in either direction so and I don't know where they are right now because I messed with them so I have pliers attached to each one so that I can uh, adjust this one's the throttle in case it starts and runs away and goes at full throttle I can choke it off Go ahead and try to bleed it a little bit. Try to keep it on. Keep the starter switch, starter button.
my gosh. That was, that was, so that was crazy. That was pretty fast. <laughs> no, no. That right, was supposed to happen? No. Well, I don't remember. I don't know where my throttle is. You see, I don't know if it's in fast or slow. Evidently, it's in fast. <laughs> I scraped it. I thought it was going to explode. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.